Hello everyone, I'm Sean, alright, and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today, we've got a couple of things from Burger King. This says crispy chicken on it, but it's a Whopper. And we've got half of a share box. Oops, a daisy. So, I was talking to John on the phone yesterday, trying to think of something to do a video on. Um, obviously we can't go and see each other. We're both working, so FaceTime's difficult. I said, have you, have you heard of anything new anywhere? He said, well, I was at Burger King, the, I was going past the Burger King a few days ago and I saw this uh, share box thing for £6. So I said, that sounds as good as anything. I looked it up. Turns out it's been out since July and you get five chicken nuggets, five onion rings, five chicken fries and five uh, jalapeno cheese bites for £6. And I thought... Value-wise, that doesn't sound great, but the, the chicken fries are back. I think we've, we've looked at them very briefly in the past. So I went, went on the Burger King app to see what offers there were, and they brought back Whopper Wednesday. Um, if you've got the app, you can get a Whopper for $1.99. When I was at uni, I used to uh, walk down from uni to town most Wednesdays and get a couple of Whoppers, and I'd put one in my bag and have that for dinner have one for lunch and go go back up to uni for lectures um, wasn't the best habit I've ever developed but you know I, I do quite miss my uh, Wednesday Whoppers but my girlfriends had to go into the office today and uh, do a couple of things at work uh, she works from home uh, like myself usually but once every now and then she'll need to go into the office so Today happens to be a Wednesday, so she's picked up the Whopper in the share box. So we'll get we'll get straight into the share box. We've got two dips with it, and I don't think I've had either of these before from Burger King. They're both Heinz. One of them's garlic sauce, one of them's creamy honey mustard. So we'll open both of these. Now, £6 for the box. I say that seems like a lot. It is 20 items. It is £1.50 for each um, type of item, you know, um, five onion rings, five chicken nuggets, uh, it's effectively pound fifty each if you look at it that way. McDonald's you get 20 nuggets, this has 20 items, this was £6, McDonald's a 20 nugget share box is something like £4.79 I think it was last time I got one. Um, I'd rate nuggets above onion rings, but I'd probably rate I'd probably say the chicken fries and jalapeno bites offer more value than nuggets. But is it worth £1.20 more? Um, I'm not sure. We'll try one of these breaded misshapen onion rings in the garlic dip. Garlic dip's nice enough. The onion ring seems pretty stale, but... It has been in a rucksack on the bus for the last 20 minutes or so. This funny mustard dip's really nice. I think I'd, I'd enjoy this with some KFC, I think. If you're wondering why I've only got two or three of everything, the other two or three of everything is on my girlfriend's plate downstairs. I can't remember if I made that clear. Chicken nugget seems nice enough. Seems on par with McDonald's. It's crispy on the outside. It's chicken in the middle. Well, the coatings come off of that one. But seems pleasant enough. These chicken fries. They've been advertising jalapeno chicken fries lately. I know chicken fries are quite a hyped menu item at Burger King. I think they're usually pretty expensive though for what they are, which is essentially a chicken goujon, but about a third of the size, really. But it smells it smells like it's got a bit of spice to it. I mean, you can see that in the coating, to be fair. Um, we didn't try the jalapeno ones, unfortunately. Um, I've never tried them. If, you, if you'd like me to do a video on them, let me know. I might give them a go. 
No, the coating's nice. It tastes of pepper, um, and I'm not sure there's a, some sort of herb in there, like basil or something, something like that. Basil or rosemary or something. It tastes of it tastes quite floral, which is uh, strange. Uh, the coating's nice and crispy. Chicken inside's a bit, a bit soft, like it's obviously quite a processed chicken. Get into the whopper in a minute, but let's try these jalapeno bites first. At least they seem very crispy on the outside. They look very nice. Well, they're nice. They've got chopped up bits of jalapeno in. It's not that spicy. It tastes more like a sweet pepper. Um, it was probably a bit more kick than a sweet pepper, but it it mainly tastes. Yeah, it doesn't taste that spicy. I would have maybe liked to see like a half a jalapeno coated or something, or jalapeno rather, um, with chopped up little bits. It, it tastes nice. It's nice and cheesy. It's like a, the sort of sauce you'd find on a processed macaroni cheese sort of thing. It's, it's that sort of cheese in there. It's, it's alright. It's, it's creamy, cheesy. Now the Whopper. We reviewed McDonald's staples in our first ever video. But we've never really reviewed a Whopper. We've reviewed the Rebel Whopper. We've never reviewed the original Whopper. The original Whopper has tomato, lettuce, onions, gherkins. Um, it's usually a bit better presented than that in my experience. But, you know, we, we know Burger King's hit and miss. We've got a nice, nice big burger there. I don't know how much it weighs. Um, must be about a quarter, quarter of a pound or so. I don't think it's any more than that. Um, yeah, this swap is quite ill presented. You got mayonnaise and ketchup. Uh, the bun doesn't seem very toasted either. I think this is quite a poor example of a whopper, to be perfectly honest. But it was one ninety nine, and uh, times are tough at the moment. Everyone's struggling with reduced staff and distancing and stuff. It's going to be harder to prepare food under those sort of circumstances. But yeah, we'll see how it tastes anyway. Cheers. Yeah, I think I don't think the bread's been toasted properly. It's a bit seems a bit stale. It, it might have just it might have been toasted properly and then it's just gone cold in the uh, the journey home. But the biggest thing you'll notice with the burger from Burger King compared to McDonald's is the meat actually tastes of something. We say it's flame grilled. But they also call the grill a broiler. And I've heard from a lot of people that it's not really strictly flame grilled. It's kind of just uh, heated through or what have you. But whether it's real or artificial, the fact remains that the meat does actually taste of something. Which at McDonald's it doesn't. At McDonald's the cheese and the sauce all taste of something. Obviously you've still got that here. Not, not on the Whopper, you don't have cheese, but you got everything else that's adding flavour, but the meat does taste of something, which is good. you got big chunks of onion. Ordinarily, I'd actually ask for the onion to be taken off a Whopper. I'm not a big fan of those big chunks of onion, but, you know, it's it, it does add a lot of flavour. I find it lingers on your breath a lot. Uh, you end up tasting it for the rest of the day. If you like onion, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Nice chunks of lettuce. Again, I, I really enjoy that. I like to see lettuce on a burger. Um... Probably isn't the best example of chunks of lettuce, but you, you got a big slice of tomato there. I think the reason I like the Big Tasty so much from McDonald's is because it's the closest burger they make to a Whopper from Burger King. It's a little bit bigger, but you've got those chunks of lettuce, big tomato slices. But the Big Tasty I actually prefer to a Whopper because it's got those slices of cheese and it's got that lovely smoky Big Tasty sauce on it. Which I think, as much as I like the ketchup and mayo combination, I do prefer the big tasty sauce, but I think that's the, uh, the closest thing McDonald's do to anything from Burger King, really. You know, you've got the double cheeseburger, but you get a double cheeseburger from Burger King. It's, uh, it's really quite different. Like It's the same sort of thing and the same sort of ingredients, but it just feels very different. Like, it, um, 
excuse me, when you eat that, most of the taste is smoky taste rather than just like ketchup and cheese. But yeah, I, I, I do really enjoy a Whopper. I've not had one in a long time, but it's it's good. For, for one ninety nine with the app on a Wednesday, I think that's all right. And with that in mind, we've got two Whoppers in this share box for just under a tenner. With that in mind, I think overall that's pretty good value. If I was going just for the share box, I'd say, you know, £6, unless there's one of those things you really like, unless you really like onion rings or you really like chicken fries, or maybe you really like the chicken fries and your girlfriend really likes the jalapeno bites, it's probably not worth it. If you're fairly um, ambivalent to the items in the box, £6 really I don't think is worth it. You can just get 20 nuggets from McDonald's for less than that. But, you know, you you got a bit of variety there. And variety is the spice of life, as we say. Um, I think I think I'll wrap it up there. I think I'll uh, finish finish the rest of my food. Um, well, wrap it up, then finish the rest of my food. Um, if we have enjoyed the video, uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, stay safe. Look after yourselves. Um, yeah, just keep, keep doing what you can. Uh, things hopefully be all right again soon. We'll, um, we'll all we'll all be okay, and as happy as we can be. Wouldn't that be lovely? But on that note, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for joining us. See you next time. Cheers.